Hello again, I'm Dr. Jim Coyle, and this tutorial from Challenges in Human Behavior focuses on how social workers support clients' health and well being. Well being is the state of being happy, healthy, or prosperous, and aspects include physical, economic, social, developmental, emotional, or psychological, life satisfaction and having engaging activities and work. We've talked in previous tutorials about how social workers support well-being related to physical health and economic health. This tutorial and a couple later tutorials will focus more on supporting clients' psychological or mental health. Social workers also support social, developmental, and emotional health in our clients. And this includes cultural and sexual diversity. Um, life satisfaction and engaging work activities come about. Uh, social workers support this in clients through use of uh, engaging healthful behaviors and the other activities. So one aspect of a person's health and well-being is sexuality, which refers to a person's sexual feelings, thoughts, attractions, and behaviors. Sexuality is not only diverse, but it's personal. It includes a person's biological and sexual characteristics, their gender, which is influenced by social and cultural differences. Uh, gender identity, which is a person's perception of themselves, its particular gender. Sexual orientation and patterns of sexual arousal, which refer to situations or behaviors which are arousing for people, are all included in, uh, in this umbrella of sexuality. Social workers may need to talk to clients about sexuality in order to help support a coming out or to respond to discrimination. They, mean to help, they may need to help clients with identity development or safety and health issues, such as that which, how it happens regarding uh, sexually transmitted diseases and sometimes behavior in sexual situations. We may use um, uh, talk about sexuality in relationship counseling or in family counseling regarding sexual education. Take for a moment to kind of inventory your own personal reactions related to sexuality. I've suggested that you skim uh, the online new news magazine uh, related to sexual issues, and I've put the, uh, the uh, link in the comments in order to give you a sense of you know, how do you react to these types of situations? How does this affect your own ideas and feelings about sexuality? And how does this influence your thoughts about social worker roles related to client sexuality? And jot down some ideas about this for yourself. Cultural diversity is another area related to a person's health and well being. Uh, social workers have paid attention to a client's cultural diverse, diversity through self-awareness, empowerment, an anti-oppressive or anti-racist uh, or feminist framework, as well as being involved in social action. Social workers have um, looked at uh, being culturally competent, which is the ability of professionals to function successfully with people from different cultural backgrounds. And in addition to cultural, this concept generally refers also to race, to class, gender, sexual orientation, religion, physical or mental ability, age, as well as national origin. Recently, my students have uh, suggested that I look into this issue of cultural humility as a better alternative. Uh, cultural humility critiques cultural competencies, uh, sense of comfort from self-awareness, 
their focus on culture as opposed to uh, really kind of focusing on the, the meaty issues of minority or racial uh, reactions. Uh, the competence is knowing the other and the lack of a specific social justice agenda. Uh, cultural humility um, instead commits to a lifelong process to address inequalities uh, through workers having collaborative relationships with their clients, uh, through ongoing learning, self-reflection and personal accountability, as well as challenging power imbalances, making a commitment to challenge power imbalances, not just in the moment, but as part of their practice. There are a number of theoretical perspectives that we've been using related to social work, and most of them tend to focus on explaining a problem or a pathology. Related to wealth, uh, well-being or health, there are a few theories that focus on that, such as strengths and resilience and theories of self-actualization. There are also some theories that identify processes that occur, and this can also focus on healthy processes such as learning theory, stress and coping theory, social constructionism, as well as ecological and life course perspectives. We're going to uh, have an in-class exercise which focuses on small groups talking about how does one achieve health and well-being. And, um, and so as you jot down your thoughts from this tutorial, from looking at the news magazine, from thinking about things that we may have jogged your ideas about regarding the role of sexuality and culture in health, um, can you know think about this so that you can ask yourself, what have you learned by this? What kinds of things do you wanna bring into the classroom discussion? And how will this learning help you to achieve kind of this health and well-being as well as help your clients do so. <laughs>